Today, we are going to rebox Combat Commander Pacific and take a good look at the components as we go. Join us here today on Legendary Tactics. I've been so excited to take a look at this game, Combat Commander Pacific. Uh, I've heard such great things about this and uh, its companion game, Combat Commander Europe. And uh, this is, uh, as you can see, there's lots of maps with various terrains, uh, terrain, lots of jungle, um, and uh, some rule books, and uh, so lots of counters. So we're going to take a, a look as we rebox this game, and we're going to start with the Fate decks. And this is what is, uh, I think, generally seen as being this, the really compelling part of this game. Um, the cards can be used in a few different ways for events and for die, die rolls and sniper attacks and uh, all sorts of... Uh, of neat uh, combinations to really give the game a lot of uh, flavor and uh, some unpredictability. Now I have heard as well that, uh, that the events aren't as exciting in Combat Commander Pacific as they are in Combat Commander Europe, but I'm going to uh, look forward to giving this a try. I'm gonna, now whenever I store uh, the pieces, I like to pop them back into the uh, counter uh, sheets think it's a um, it keeps it nice and clean makes it very easy to store and uh, just takes you just put it together and it just snaps right into place it's pretty cool um, now the counters were a little bit thinner than um, I'm kind of used to but uh, I really like the feel of them overall um, it was just a you know a bit of a surprise when you see how thin they are um, compared to I would say they're maybe about half the thickness of a typical war game counter that you would find let's say in the no retreat series with uh, from gmt um, but at the end of the day for me components are are important but if the game is great it it honestly doesn't uh it doesn't matter in the end uh, for me so we've got the japanese uh, fate deck the american fate deck and there's also a commonwealth uh, fate deck and you can see that there is a lot of stuff in this game and the maps, uh, there's lots of maps. They are unmounted, which uh, is a bit unusual for GMT. They're typically uh, fully uh, mounted map boards and so forth. And at the same time, I understand why they chose the paper maps because there are a lot of them and the weight uh, of these maps would be absolutely crazy in the box if they were, uh, if they were all mounted. So um, I'm not opposed to paper maps as long as they are are able to lie flat um, sometimes they do bend you can see at the uh, at the bends there and the counters can slide around that I don't like but um, but maybe some plexiglass could solve that problem now there's lots of rules uh, this is a uh, not an easy game to just kind of pick up and play although I have a feeling the gameplay will be fine once uh, underway um, but there is a fair amount of rules in this uh, in this game that's the rule book. There's also a, a playbook which has the uh, scenarios and uh, kind of op it's the, the setup to uh, create your own scenarios if you want to. And uh, you can see there's a fair amount there. There's some designer's notes and, uh, and uh, examples of play just to make sure you've got the line of sight and combat and so forth uh, figured out. Um, they've got some player aids there. And uh, these cards were for some reason kept in a special envelope. So we're gonna put them uh, back uh, in there. And uh, we're gonna, of course, put the uh, card decks back in the shrink wrap. And uh, you can do that, just takes a bit of practice. You can just uh, uh, wrap them up, just uh, hold out your hand that the, the uh, plastic will uh, be sucked towards it. And uh, you just can wrap them up like that. It just, uh, you know, as I said, just a little bit of practice. Um, this is my daughter actually uh, she's only 10 years old and she's able to uh, to do shrink wrap for these uh, for these decks so um, yeah so you can see that the decks are pretty substantial I think there's going to be a lot of variation in gameplay um, that these decks will provide and uh, I think it's this game really shows a lot of promise I've heard it is a squad leader plus uh, up front, you know, those old classic games, ASL, done right. And this is, uh, you know, an ex just uh, an evolution of the small squad level uh, style war game. 
and uh, certainly not to be missed. And uh, just take a look. I was, uh, my daughter uh, unboxed it a little bit there and I just took the maps out to have another look and now I'm just gonna put them all back in. And uh, just takes a, you know, it's all in the wrist. You just have to be prepared. I was punching out some counters and so forth. Uh, I can't wait to get this to the table. Um, and, uh, but if I'm, once I'm done taking a look at it, I want to put it back in the, uh, the box that it uh, came in. Gotta love those packing peanuts. They are, uh, they're not delicious, but they are great for keeping games safe in transit. So my daughter is just sweeping all of those, uh, peanuts up and uh, making sure that the game is properly, uh, insulated there ready for its next play. So anyway, this was a quick look at Combat Commander Pacific. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.